Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Ethereum Wars and specifically about its selector. As you might already know, we have a new event called Ethereum Wars and you'll be able to get a selector, 4 star selector, where you'll be able to choose between Serval, Pella, Hook or Luca. Some of you might be asking yourself uh, which one of these four star characters is a good choice and I will provide you with an actual different perspective than what most people might tell you to do. I will speak this from my experience coming from Genshin Impact. I do play the game since day one and I know how it goes with four stars. All right, so let's get to it. First of all, let's go quickly over all four characters. Specifically, as you can see, we have Serval, Pella, Hook, Luca. I do play all of them. I also play Hook in one of my other accounts. So technically, I played all of them. They're all functional. They're all great. That's that. However, the strongest option, of course, most people will tell you it's Pella, naturally. However, there is one detail that a lot of people don't actually realize or know. And I will explain this thought process right now. But there is one little detail a lot of people don't realize. The difficulty of getting 4 star characters. As you might already know, you do not have a guarantee to get the 4 stars on a rate up banner the actual guarantee you have for some of them it's from the starlight exchange shop this is something i've been telling people to save your starlight so you can buy these units guaranteed the rotation is fixed it's only going to be the same character rotating year round meaning characters such as pella hook and serval will be on a six month rotation so you can get her for example pella you can get her at worst up to six weeks or as uh, one month of waiting or within the same month whenever you start playing the game the character that actually it's not available in the shop it's luca he's extremely hard to get because he's only going to be on the rate up banner so you might be right right now but i don't need luca okay that's fine but let me to explain Luca is a type of character, a debuffer, that basically buffs your team damage as well. He could have more future synergies. Of course, he already works with Kafka, so in the future, if you ever decide to get Kafka, but somehow you don't have Luca, that could hurt you or with some other potential unit. Meanwhile, Pella will be just able to buy her from the shop anyway. So if you do look for the long term, going for the hardest to get character, it is the best. Because in Genshin Impact, allow me to show you right now, just a moment. Here, as you can see, these are my four star characters in Genshin Impact, for example, Rosaria. And she has been released in 2021 of April, I believe. And I still have only one constellation, which is equivalent of Eidolon of hers. That's why I'm telling you from experience, because the gacha system is exactly the same for the characters, that the probability you do not have a guarantee to get these five stars. So in the future, for example, if there's any of these four star characters that you might need for a future five star that you get, but you don't have it, it sucks. For example, on this account, I don't have Mika. And he might be needed for the upcoming character Risley, for example. And if I do want to get Risley and I don't have Mika, that would suck. Of course, Mika was never available as a guaranteed uh, choice pick or anything from an event. Otherwise, I already have him. But my point is that you can be extremely unlucky with the four stars and basically not get the copies, the dupes you would want of them, or even a single copy. And my recommendation, if you do play for the long term, always pick in these selectors the hardest things to get. Because you never know, there might be in the future where you would want to use them for whatever reason, maybe even want to collect the four stars characters have all of them and this is the best way to guarantee yourself to be able to do so so now let's go back to star rail and talk about the rest so as you've seen the difficulty of getting these uh, four star characters it's pretty painful you'll hear plenty of stories from genshin players who over the years didn't get this or that of four star characters and if you ever need them for whatever reason you will want to have them okay so i will choose luca every single time on both of my accounts for example my free to play account doesn't even have luca on this account i'll get e1 just to slowly build idolons over time anything that's a guarantee for the characters it's the best because for serval as you can 
can see for several here, I could get E6. Sounds very nice, very good. Until you realize that she should be very soon in the shop rotation. And I can just buy her from here if I truly wanted anyway, for example. So just be patient with this. And I can also show you the rotation of the characters so you know exactly when they show up. Here they are. As you can see, this is the rotation of the characters from 1.0 patch. Technically, minus her. Her is not in the rotation. As you can see, Pella and Hook will be available in February because they were recently available in August. As as for Serval, it's going to be November, basically next month, and Luca is nowhere to be seen. That's why I recommend every one of you just pick Luca. Even if you don't like the character, even if you, let's say, don't have Pella, at worst case scenario, you can get guaranteed Pella in February. But there is no worst case scenario for Luca. You might never see a single copy of him for the rest of your gaming experience or more dupes that you would want him. Because you never know, maybe one day you want to play Kafka, get your on a rerun, perhaps Luca would be really good there, especially against physical weakness enemies, and tough luck, you won't have it. Or other potential compositions in the future, because let me remind you, they release a lot of characters over the year, for example, five stars, and these new five stars can also have synergies, or let's say the four stars, can have synergies with these new five stars as well. So I would highly recommend that you take this approach where you go for the character that is hardest to get. And as always, it's always better to be patient, okay? Worst case scenario, you're a new player, you don't have Pella, you'll get her guaranteed February. Just save your Starlight, you'll be able to buy her. Meanwhile, Luca, not so easy, all right? So that's pretty much it. And also just the adds up thing is also in January. So make sure to save your Starlight also for Tingyun if you still don't have her. Because I did hear some horror stories from subreddit where people were saying, I'm day one player with no Tingyun. If you're a day one player with no Tingyun when July passed, buy it's a skill issue that you didn't save the currency to buy so play smart uh, invest properly and you will have a better experience overall if you're impulsive rushing or anything like that you'll only end up getting punished and more likely prone to spend more on this game so that will be all for this video i hope this insight and take uh, helps you out uh, with your decision in my opinion this is not even a decision actually it's you know just pick luca so yeah that will be all for this video. If you have any input that you would like to say, feel free to say it in down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Ongesterial content. I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video.